All right guys, today we're here to run through one of Core's latest builds, this awesome Isuzu D-Max. This thing has absolutely everything you can imagine bolted to it. We're gonna run through all the accessories, the canopy, and focus a bit on our utilization of space in our canopies, which we always get complimented on. The GCM, the GVM, the whole lot. Different cloth, you not in my lane. What is you saying? I'm popping, I made it obvious, man. I don't identify with stopping. That's not what my job is, I'm confident. I'm just one with a way, can't stop me anymore now. I've had my share of pain, but that don't make me slow. All the way, I'm going to another level. All right, guys, starting off at the front of this rig, we've got the off-road animal Toro bar, steady Type X Pros. Also got the steady SDK3 21 inch light bar in there as well. The Rum bar, 11,000 pound winch. This bar also comes standard with rated recovery points and bash plates underneath as well. Also on the bar, we've got the GME UHF aerial there. Sets off the front of this car, awesome. All right guys, so moving around to the side of this rig, the customer's gone with Nitto Ridge Grappler tires on King Off-Road wheels. They're a 17 inch wheel, they're the Kong model, and they're in satin black. Also, Fabulous Fabrications, seamless four inch snorkel, Clearview compact mirrors. These are the next gen ones, if you're looking at them. Also, Off-Road Animal rock sliders on this. All right, so moving our way up to the roof rack of this thing, we've got a Rhino rack platform with Rhino rack backbone. It's got the steady STK4 42 inch light bar on the front. We've got our Digadoo shovel mount on the quick release Rhino rack brackets. Max tracks on the quick release uh, pins for them. Also over the other side, we've got our Cellfire aerial, which is on a GME fold down bracket, so it can lay completely flat or vertical. There's a couple of spots, as you can see, it's laying halfway at the moment. And that ties off the roof rack side of it. Before we start looking into the canopy on this rig, we're gonna talk about the GVM and GCM. But before we do that, I need you to like this video, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell notification to keep up to date with everything that Core's got coming out. So, the GVM on this car, it's a Lovell's kit. The GVM is 3600, so 3.6 tonne and the GCM is 6.9 tonnes, so 6,900 from the factory. So on this vehicle, guys, the customer has chosen our GTU canopy. So we're going to get started and run you through the driver side of the canopy first up. As you can see hey. on the driver side... Jeez, that didn't take you long. I only went to the toilet. Oh, I slipped back in, mate, that's all. Give I'm me a break, now. give me a break. I mean, the customers <laughs> that had their vote, they know who they want. Like, hey, 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 come on, back, back to it, it all right? No. Some people. Okay, so as Jimmy probably mentioned, this is our GTU canopy. This customer's upgraded a few things from standard on our GTU canopy. He's gone for the angle fridge freezer on this model. Also upgraded to lockable drawers, just as a bit of extra security for himself. Um, these are very similar to standard lock. They're just key lockable rather than just uh, normal compression locks. Hot water system is standard. Also driver side compartment, which has got your nine meter retractable hose reel up there as standard. Also gone for our ever so popular fixed gas system which has your bottle plumbed in as normal and your bayonet up under the box there. So moving around to the back of this rig and it's got a lot going on as does the rest of the car. It's got our core off-road rear tire carrier with his spare tire. Also the core off-road dirty gear bag that we've mounted on the back for him. Got a Cam Boss Nudie Boss shower tent up on top of our core off-road fold out bracket. This bracket's our left-hand version, rather than our right-hand one, which we did have. We do now have left-hand version opening on our website, so you can jump on and buy them now as well. Same thing as before, just opening the opposite way, 
gives you a bit more versatility on how you can use them and mount them. With this one, the customer can still open his canopy, still access all the back of the car and have his shower tent out, have his tent open, the whole lot. With the tent on this one, it's an eye camper. So it's a side folding tent. So the tent folds out actually over top of the canopy. And that's why the customer's gone for the left-hand version on this one. Trundle drawer, as per standard across our entire range, they all come with a trundle drawer, which is dust and waterproof. Um, so dust-free, water-free, it's a completely sealed unit. This customer's also optioned up for the lid on top of his trundle drawer. Great spot for your barbecue or little prep station or whatever it is. Still got access to your whole trundle drawer. Great option, heaps of people do it. Also in front of the trundle drawer on standard on all our canopies, 85 litre water tank up underneath your canopy in front of the trundle drawer. Around to the passenger side of the canopy, my favourite side where all the action happens. We've got our standard GTU layout, 110 litre Dometic upright fridge, your control panel with all your gauges, so you've got your EPRO, your inverter, switch on off, top grill water counter, all your light switches and all your resets up the top there. Touching on the inverter, this customer has gone with a 2000 watt inverter and upgraded from the 125 amp hour BTEC battery to a 200 amp hour BTEC battery as well. Standard is a 125 across our range. This customer's upgraded to a 200 amp hour. We can even upgrade in certain canopies to 400 amp hour to 200s, depending on what the customer's sort of after. Three drawers and a little storage pocket up the top. The storage pocket is a great option rather than having a fourth drawer that you can't see into and can't get into. We run the storage pocket. It's our way of utilizing as much space as we can, which is one thing in our canopies, which we get complimented on all the time, is our utilization of space. We try to make sure that every little part of our canopies is usable area, whether it's storage or whatever it happens to be, but there's no wasted space. With optimizing as much space as we can, we try to hide away all of our electrical system. So the 200 amp hour battery, the DC DC charger, the inverter, all that sort of stuff is hidden behind the fridge and the drawers here. It is still accessible if you do happen to ever need to get to it. You can take the drawers out and you can access everything through there, but it's just our way of keeping everything neat, tidy, and also utilization of the space. Obviously, GTU Canopy has standard our ever so popular GTU pull-out kitchen. Just slides out. You have two tables that fold down. They just lock in on indexing pins either side, nice and simple. This side you have a chopping board which pops out. You have a pop out sink that drops in there. Your hot and cold tap which plums across to your hot water system. Cutlery drawer. Travel body oven. Plus all your pantry space. More space up there for pantry items. Like we say, utilization of space, every possible little section of this kitchen is usable. Up to a little rack up the top there for your spice rack. Another one in there for bits and pieces. Just every inch of space is usable. With your fold down tables on your GTU kitchen, they finish zero height to the level of your canopy. So they're still a workable height. They're not right up high or right down low. They're your perfect sort of height when you want to use them. Also, everything else is still accessible. So you can still access all your drawers while you're doing things, prepping, whatever. It's not like you have to close the table up to access drawers or anything like that. Everything is still completely functional. Simple pack up with our kitchen as well. Indexing pins, just clip back in.
Simple as that. Standard untro box on all models. Central lock to your car, as mentioned before. Dust and water seal. So no dust, no water in the untro box. Great storage. Another standard inclusion across all of our range of canopies is the Bushwhacker 270 degree awning. It's the new 270 Extreme Complete Darkness awning. It comes with work lights inside, which are amber and white. It's self-supporting. It does come with legs. If it gets a bit windy, you can put the legs on and tie it down, but it is self-supporting and they are a fantastic awning, hence why we use them across our complete range of canopies. You don't have to have a canopy to get one of these awnings. We do sell them in store. We do have stock of them. If you want one, we can even fit it to your car for you, your roof rack, another canopy, whatever you want. Drop in and see the boys in sales. They'll be able to help you out with one. While we're around this side of the car, we'll touch on a few more of the accessories because this car does have absolutely everything. Underneath, we've got a Brown Davis long range tank. This one's a 145 litre poly version of Brown Davis's tanks. Also underneath is the DPF back three inch Manta exhaust system. Moving to the inside, super fit seat covers, true fit 3D mats, floor mats. Also sound deadening throughout the whole car. This is one of those things where say core off road, we do everything. We look after everything for the customer when they send us a list or the sales guys talk to the customers over the phone or yourself, if you're looking for a build, we can sort absolutely anything out for you. This customer, like I said, has got everything down to tunes, also ceramic coating on the vehicle, absolutely everything we can look after for you. Let's go around the front and have a look what we got under the bonnet of this thing. All right, so under here, aluminium radiator, which is part of the GVM GCM kit that Lovells do for the D-Max. Also, TerraTuff catch can up there, just a bit of insurance for the engine, seeing everything is brand new. Also, Direction Plus uh, second fuel filter. Stop any chance of any water or dirty fuel getting in the engine. This car is going up north, so some places, remote places up there, you can get some average fuel, so it's just a bit of more insurance for the customer. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video on this awesome D-Max. Next time, we'll try to keep Jimmy under control, but I probably can't promise anything. If you want to see more of our builds, click here. If you want to see Jimmy doing some cooking, click down here. Thanks again.